Hello everybody, welcome to iExam Embrace the iExam learning experience. In one of my earlier video, I told you about Supreme Court of India Law Clerk Come Research Associate Post. You can register for this exam from 25th of January to 15th of February. The exam is on 10th of March for Supreme Court Law Clerk Come Research Associate. In that video, I haven't told you about the exam pattern. That is what we are going to discuss in this video. This is the exam pattern. Part 1 of the selection process consists of 100 multiple choice questions of 1 mark each to be done in 2 and a half hours and will consist of the following questions. There will be a reading comprehension passage in English followed by objective type related questions on the passage, objective type analytical questions testing the candidate's ability to understand and apply law including the constitution of India, CRPC, CPC, IPC, evidence and contract act. And then there will be objective type questions on recent developments in law and jurisprudence in the last one year. Negative marking is also there of 0.25 marks. So this is your part 1 of the exam. Just me 100 questions hongi of 1 mark each for 2 and a half hours. And this is an offline exam. Then part 2 shall be of 3 and a half hours including 30 minutes reading time. It will be of 300 marks and will consist of the following questions. Question 1 will require the candidate to prepare a brief synopsis or pressy of a case file not longer than 750 words, approximately two sides of a single page. The candidate would be provided with a copy of special leave petition or civil criminal appeal or red petition. Aapko iska ek brief synopsis likhna hai of 750 words. Parameters for judging these questions will include ability of the candidate to identify and marshal the relevant facts, identification of legal issues before the High Court or Appellate Tribunal, then comprehensive analysis of the issues as done by the High Court in the impugned decision, ratio of impugned decision, relevant grounds before the Supreme Court, ability to condense information and structure the document logically, brevity. So on these matters, your pressy, your brief synopsis will be judged. This brief synopsis will be of a special leave petition or civil criminal appeal and should be in 750 words. Second question will be preparation of a draft research memo. In this question, the candidate will be provided with a brief factual dispute, the relevant statutes and precedents to decide the dispute, along with certain irrelevant decisions which modify the line of precedent. The candidate would be required to formulate a draft reasoned memo not longer than 500 to 750 words. This question will be of 75 marks. Then the parameters for judging this question includes ability to use relevant legal resources, use of legal language, exposition of the law, analysis of the facts and applicability of the law to the facts and structure of the opinion. Then question number three is the analytical question. In this question, a candidate shall be required to answer one out of the five analytical questions in 350 to 500 words. So, you have five analytical questions. You have one question answer in 350 to 500 words. Mein, and the parameters for judging will include the presentation and development of an argument through reasons and appropriate examples, coherence and structure of the answer, sentence construction and grammar. The results then, the candidate will have to obtain a minimum qualifying marks of 40% or such cutoff as may be specified in part 1 and then only your answer sheets for part 2 will be assessed. So you will have two parts here, part 1 and part 2. Part 1 is objective and then your part 2 will be descriptive in which there will be three questions as mentioned. If you clear the cutoff in part 1, then only answer sheets for part 2 will be evaluated. In order to qualify in part 2, a candidate needs to secure minimum 50% marks of such cutoff as may be specified. After the assessment of the answer sheets of part 2, the registry shall prepare the results of the written examination based on combined marks of part 1 and part 2. Individual score of the candidate shall be provided on the individual registration portal where the candidate had registered himself herself at the time of submitting an online application. Then the candidates who will be qualifying for the interview would be asked to submit a preference list of the judge's office in a sequence of their choice under whom they intend to work. Based on the rank, a candidate shall be shortlisted for consideration at a judge's office. In terms of preference indicated, a candidate higher in rank shall be duly considered for a judge from the top of his preference list. So this is what is the exam pattern. In this document, you will find a lot of details. You will find the details with respect to the job profile, the terms and nature of the employment, remuneration, entitlement for the service of law clerks, then exam pattern, conditions of engagement, orientation and training. Then you have mention of duties of the law clerk, attendance and the leave, duty hours, conduct during and after the term of assignment, 
and then you have various documents so you can go through all this detail i will attach this document in the description below in your detail notification also the brief mention of the pattern was there there is part one part two part one is objective part two is descriptive both will be conducted on the same day and then there is your part three which is interview so this is all about the exam pattern Please understand, this is a very good opportunity. This is a chance to get associated with, to work under the judges in the Supreme Court of India. Though it is a contractual post, you will learn a lot and this is a great exposure to your profile. So if you are interested and if you have any doubts with respect to this exam, with respect to this recruitment, you can mention them in the comment below. You will also find a Google form that is attached in the description. You can also ask your queries there and I'll try to answer them in my subsequent videos. That will be all in this video. We at iExam, we help you prepare 50% faster with a crisp and concise content. Subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned. Thank you.